And Jenna Ellis was very visible around the fake elector scheme, around Giuliani. I mean, all of her appearances were notable. Um, she's been complaining on social media about legal fees. What can you tell us about what we know about Jenna Ellis, how she's paying for this, and, and what, I'm sorry, Ryan, what might she consider if you were a prosecutor and you see her complaining, what might you do or try to get her to consider in light of this? What's interesting about uh, Jenna Ellis here is that she switched politically. Uh, she's now sort of this uh, Ron DeSantis uh, supporter. So she's a little bit sort of out in the woods, I think, uh, because, you know, you don't have the same base and ability to raise um, money that you would if you were sort of inside uh, the Trump fold or you don't have him paying uh, your legal bills. So there is some exposure there. Uh, but it's also fascinating because then you have someone who basically, you know, fought for this idea that Donald Trump won the election, apparently really believed that at the time, um, at least, and now is in this position where they don't think Donald Trump uh, should be elected again. So, you know, obviously a lot of this folds into the political, but she has certainly enough of a bullhorn um, on her own. She sort of hosts a show. I think that she might be able to, uh, to, to raise money off of it, but I don't, I definitely think that she's someone you would want to be uh, able to get sort of an in with. It might be someone who you could, you know, at least try to flip, but it doesn't seem necessarily, uh, um, incredibly likely there, of course, you know, someone's going to have to break here, you would think at some point, just given the legal um, and financial pressures that a lot of these uh, defendants uh, will be under, because obviously it's sort of, you know, the early bird gets the worm here in terms of uh, whoever flips first is going to be uh, someone who's going to get probably the better considerations uh, when this case eventually goes around to getting to trial. But I do think that the timeline here on this one is something that's very easily going to get pushed back, given the, just the pure number of defendants that we're seeing in this case. So, um, um, it, so I think it remains to be seen whether or not that fast track one that Jack Smith is operating ultimately is the one that we see go to trial first before this case, given the number of complicating factors and some of the more legal filings that we've seen recently uh, from people who claim that they were working on behalf of the president uh, during that time, Katie. Just to get back to Alice for a second, um, here's what she tweeted. I was reliably informed Trump isn't funding any of us who are indicted. Would this change if he becomes the nominee? Why then? Not now. I totally agree this has become a bigger principle than just one man. So why isn't MAGA Inc. funding everyone's defense? So Jenna Ellis, I'm going to keep an eye out on what happens with her.